Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Zoe. If you're new here, welcome. And if you're returning, welcome back. Today we are doing a leg workout a vlog today, so who knows what will happen. I am planning on going to Home Depot after because I started my garden yesterday, but I do need some more um, soil for the garden beds, so we'll do that. I'll show you guys kind of like what I do, I guess, for my garden. We are doing a leg workout today. I'm in the new, can you see this? The new Gymshark ombre seamless pants and we're putting them to the test day for squat proof it's a beautiful day and i'm excited it's 11 p 11 p.m it's 11 a.m and i'm getting a little bit start later to the day because what i've been doing is i used to edit my youtube videos at night but i find that i'm just not productive at night and it usually doesn't happen so in the mornings i will usually just sit down edit a video that needs to get done and that's why i'm a bit behind today i like to get to the gym at like 10 ish is a good time for me but it's 11 i'll get there 11 30 it's all good i'm not actually in a rush today because i don't have anything else to do some work typical kind of stuff so let's get the day started you have my you know what i'm about to say my women's best bcaa's and pre-workout in here yum in my tongue i'm gonna sip this on my way to the gym and also sip it during my workout halfway through my workout and i will put my discount link below for you guys if you'd like to check it out if you also need supplement recommendations please feel free to email me i will be more than happy to help you email is zoe at zbody.com shoot me an email let me know where some of your goals are and i can set up a supplement package for you and yeah uh, i hope you guys enjoy this vlog and let's go do some booty i'm gonna do all booty today so it's gonna be an intense workout i'm excited let's do it hey guys what's up i'm here with a voiceover i know i haven't done a voiceover in a hot minute so if you guys prefer this voiceover versus just music and text please let me know in the comment section below give this video a thumbs up for me let me know that this is what you would rather see than um, just again music and text so of course we're going to start off with some glute activation always 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 key to a great leg and booty day make sure that those act those muscles are getting activated beforehand this helps a lot with people who are more quad dominant which is going to be the majority of people usually your glutes are pretty is what we call asleep during the day you're not really using them and activating them in your daily life so i do find that actually activating them with certain exercises before your workout helps so much with glute growth. I really think this is such a key. Once I started doing this about two years ago, I really saw a huge difference in glowing my, growing my glutes. So highly, highly recommend it. Again, my full guide for the glute activation is linked below for you guys. So after you're done with that, we're gonna start off with some banded pull squats. For these, I use the mini loop bands. You can also use a hip circle. The hip circle is going to be a little bit more difficult. Um, again, I have both the hip circle, which is the thicker band, and the mini loop bands, which is what I'm using here. I have all that linked below for you guys if you wanna check that out. I also use these bands as well for glute activation. Um, so for these squats, you're gonna to wanna to focus on pushing those knees out the entire time. That is gonna be the most important part of this exercise to make sure those outer glutes are really working. I really find that with the bands, it helps to really um, work those outer glute muscles the most. Um, again, you also want to focus on pushing through with those heels. You can see here that I'm actually wearing socks, either socks, um, converse work, anything flat with a flatter base is going to be what you need for leg day to make sure that you're really getting the most out of it and that you're really pushing through with those heels. You're going to want to keep that back straight, your core nice and tight. Your core actually gets worked a lot during leg day if you're doing your exercises properly. Again, you want to brace that core, make sure it's strong and tight when you do these. Um, the pulse is going to be more of the difficult version. If you are just starting out, you can do it without the pulse and just the band. And again, if you're just, just starting out and you're a very beginner, just try a regular back squat. Um, but again, this is for probably more advanced, I would say, but definitely burns a lot more than regular back squats. All right, guys, going into our next exercise, we're going to be doing hip thrusts on the Smith machine. Again, these can also be done in a variety of ways. You can also do this on the floor with just a barbell. I do feel like the, um, the Smith machine is easier for setting up wise um, in terms of going heavier and whatnot because it is obviously not on the floor. You don't have to get yourself under it. Um, but again, it's up to you. Do this exercise however you feel best and most comfortable for your body. So for this, again, you wanna focus on really squeezing those glutes at the top and making sure that you're pushing through with those heels. Point those feet out a little bit um, 
out probably about 10 to 20 degrees um, and just really squeeze 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 at the top and make sure that you're really getting the most out of this exercise all right guys moving into our next exercise which is actually going to be a superset we're going to be supersetting these sumo dumbbell squats for these you can also use a you can use two dumbbells if you'd like you can use a barbell on your back i just prefer this because i feel like it actually works my glutes a lot more again you're going to focus on pushing those knees out the entire time and then we're going to move straight into our bulgarian split squats which are everyone's favorite aka not favorite because they're just so difficult so for these i actually added a little bit of variety so i did a few regular reps and then you're going to finish it off with some pulses at the bottom Again, just get a little bit of extra, extra booty burn in there. It, this exercise always kills me no matter what. I've been doing this exercise for four years now and it still kills me. So I promise if you hate this exercise, you're not alone. It's just so, so beneficial to building those glutes up. And I just find that it just works so great. And again, here we go into the sumo. Again, really focus on pushing those knees out the entire time. All right guys, for our last and final superset, we have the reverse hyper here. Now I know a lot of gyms do not have this machine, which sucks because it is really such a great machine. But if you don't have this machine, you can also just do the same motion on a bench, hang your feet off a little bit. You can even do it on more of a decline. If you really want a great workout, you can actually hold an exercise ball or a dumbbell in your feet and just lift up as such. Make sure for this exercise that you're squeezing those glutes at the very, very top and keeping those knees slightly bent. And then you're gonna move straight into some banded hip thrusts for these. You're going to start off with hip thrust and then you're gonna move into some clamshells um, that you'll see at the end of this. But basically, I just like to do some sort of glute finish at the end with some bands to make sure that I'm really, really burning out those glutes. And then in a second here, you'll see us move into some clamshells um, any second now, there we go, Zoe. Okay, so yeah, for these, again, just burn those glutes out. Really focus on keeping your hips up and pushing out with those knees. Uh, again, let me guys know if you prefer this voiceover method rather than just text. I would love to hear your opinions below in the comments section or throw this video a thumbs up if you like this. Um, I love you guys and enjoy the rest of this vlog. Hey guys, I am back home now. So I stopped at Home Depot. I got all my gardening stuff. I'm just gonna have a quick little snack before I go do that. So I just have some chips and a little bit of guacamole. I'm gonna eat this and then we're gonna go do the garden stuff because I wanna get it done ASAP, get it in the ground. It's a lot of work. Um, the gardening stuff definitely is labor intensive, but definitely worth it. And I'm gonna eat this and then we'll go outside. All right guys, so Okay, it's not for you. Um, I did get a few other plants that I wanted to plant, but I did get most of them yesterday. Um, some more rocks for my backyard, and then this is all of the soil for the garden. And what I do is I just put it on my golf cart and ride it into the backyard, and then I'll show you my garden when we get back there. This is where my rocks are going. They're over here. So I'm gonna put these down. The dogs kind of get all over this path all the time, so I need, just need to re-rock it a little bit. And then, um, Ivy, is that what you're supposed to be doing? It's hot out here, huh? It's very hot. Right, guys gonna show you what I have so far so we have yellow peppers these are all sweet peppers yellow orange red peppers we have jalapenos back there here we have green bell peppers 
We have some lettuce that's looking very sad, so I hope that it will survive. Some more lettuce. Um, back there we have cauliflower. Up here we have red cabbage. Over here we have butternut squash, um, cucumber, cantaloupe, watermelon, cilantro, and then this, um, I don't know if the tomato plant is gonna go there yet. I think I might just get another box over here or something to put the tomato plant in. And then over here yesterday, I planted some fruit trees that I'm hoping will be good. So over here we have, this is the lemon tree, I believe. Lemon, lime, and then over, way over there is an orange tree. And then right here we have a mango tree. So fingers crossed that they will grow big and strong. They probably won't be producing fruit though for a few years at least. Good morning guys, it is now another day. Um, after I did my garden yesterday, I was very tired. Just had a relaxing evening and did some work. I'm working on some new programs that are coming out soon, so I was doing that um, and finishing up my new challenge and the challenge registration will open on this coming Monday. So today is the 7th of February. Um, the challenge starts on the 19th and registration will open on the 12th. So if you're interested in the challenge, I um, highly recommend that to check it out. Basically, it is a six week fitness challenge, um, completely different from my other eBooks. So brand new workouts help you with macros, figuring all that kind of stuff out, um, cardio recommendations, supplement recommendations, all that stuff is included. So if you're interested, go check that out. I am getting ready to go to cardio. It's a cardio only day, cardio with some abs, of course, unfortunately. I'll see you guys soon. Guys, I am back home now. I ended up doing just 25 minutes on the Stairmaster and not doing abs. Um, I still try and do abs three to four times a week, usually mostly three times a week, if I'm being completely honest. I, I did stop the grocery store on my home, so I figured I would show you what I got. So, we're just gonna go through. This is my local, from my local grocery store, Publix, here in South Florida. So we're gonna start off with some guacamole packets. These are great if you're not so great at serving size and portion control. Um, there's 90 calories per cup, spicy single guacamole. Each one is seven grams of fat, six grams of carbs, and one gram of protein. These are usually what I will put on top of my taco bowl, the Gardein Beefless Ground. If you watch my videos, you know that I make that literally every day of my life, and it's amazing. Um, we have, of course, some hummus. I have not tried this brand before. If you've tried this, let me know. Of course, I got jalapeno variety. And then, of course, the good old Sabra. Jalapeno hummus is always what I choose. Then, we have this dairy-free sour cream from Tofuti. Um, again, I will put this on top of my bowl. I used to use regular sour cream. I'm really trying hard to eat as little dairy as possible. Um, for the most part, if there is a dairy-free uh, dairy alternative, I will get that. I think this entire trip is actually dairy-free, um, but in terms of like my eating and lifestyle, um, I will try and keep it mostly dairy-free. Obviously, if I'm at a restaurant and there's no other option, I will eat it, but for the most part, I am consciously trying to eat dairy-free. And as you know, I've also been vegetarian now for about two months, I would say. I'm sorry, not vegetarian. I still eat seafood, but everything else, I do not eat. Anyway, I'm back to the grocery haul. Um, so these are the So Delicious Coconut Milk Yogurts. What I was thinking is I could just take this and add a scoop of Women's Best into this, Women's Best Vegan Protein into here and mix it all together. That way I can have a little bit of protein as well in here um, because these are, obviously since it's dairy free, it is a lot less protein. It's four grams of fat, 25 grams of, 25 grams of carbs, and less than one gram of protein, so there is zero protein here. But I do love yogurt, that was the biggest thing with me in terms of dairy-free, is finding a substitute for that. So I figure I can just put in a little bit of protein powder and maybe it'll be bomb.com. I have some Gardein Beefless, Beefless Burgers. I have some Gardein crispy Chicken Patties. These are what my, I make my like vegetarian um, Chick-fil-A sandwiches with. We put a little pickle on it. Then we just have some coffee for my Keurig. Nothing exciting there. Just got some dark roast coffees. Again, another flavor of the So Delicious yogurts. 
of course it's not focusing. We have just some lemons. I can't wait till I actually have a lemon tree in my backyard and I can just go outside and pick lemons. But until then, obviously I'll be buying lemons. These are what I add in the mornings with my apple cider vinegar, two tablespoons, mix with a big glass of water, and a little bit of, usually I do like half a lemon juiced. And um, again, make sure you drink that through a straw because it's very bad for your teeth and animals. So drink through a straw. It's great for digestion, all that good stuff. You know, now that I'm looking at these, oh, these actually are dairy free. I didn't even check these in the store, but um, pizza flavored bagels. What? Now I am trying to limit my foods that are processed, but they, me and bagels just have like a serious relationship going on. And I've heard that these are really good. So I'm gonna try them out. Let me know how, I go, how it goes. Usually I probably save these for my high carb days just because it is about 50 grams of carbs for one of these. But we have, of course, just some pretzels. Gluten-free is the way to go because they're crunchier this way. Um, and this is what I have with the hummus. You guys know. We have my favorite dairy-free coffee creamer. This is the one I've been using for a good while now, probably like two years now. And it's just amazing. We have this almond milk. I so delicious as you can tell I love the so delicious brand um, this only has six ingredients and I've shown this in a different grocery haul and it is great we have a big container of the so delicious again yogurt this is a vanilla flavor and last but not least we have just some jalapenos in here some jar jalapenos and of course, just pickles, cause I just love pickles. A fun fact, I used to hate pickles when I was younger, but I don't know why. Uh, like a few years ago, I started eating them and I was like, this is great. Why did I ever hate pickles? I don't know. But anyway, that's the end of my grocery haul. I'm gonna go take a shower.